Have you ever heard of a hotel with an infinity number of rooms? Do you think there would be space for everyone in such a hotel? Let's say you have been traveling for a long time and finally find a hotel. But this isn't just any hotel, it's Hilbert's Infinity Hotel. It has an infinity number of rooms. Sounds amazing, right? But there is a small problem. Every single room is already occupied. So what happens when a new guest arrives? Don't worry, the receptionist is quite clever. Everyone move on room up. So the guest in room 1 moves to room 2. The guest in room 2 moves to room 3. And just like that, room 1 becomes for free for the new guests. Problem solved. But what if things get more complicated? Imagine a bus arrives carrying an infinity number of guests. Still no panic. This time, the receptionist has a new plan. Everyone multiply their room number by 2. That means room 1 becomes room 2, room 2 becomes room 4, and so on. Now, all the odd numbers are free. We can place the new guests in those. We manage it to infinity into infinity. Amazing. But wait, what if things get even crazier? What if an infinity number of buses arrive, each carrying an infinity number of passengers? Sounds like chaos, right? But there is still a solution. By assigning rooms using prime numbers and their powers, we can Euclid place everyone, no matter how many there are. Hilbert's Infinity Hotel shows us that mathematics isn't always infinity. Sometimes math can be weirder than reality. Keep exploring the magic of infinity. See you next time.